welcome back to another fan staff video. Today I'm going to show you how to make void worlds with multiverse. So let's get started. So I'm on my Minehut dashboard and I'm going to go to add-ons and I'm going to search up multiverse and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to find it here and get it now and install it now. Then there's one more plugin we need and we're just gonna search void gen and that's the first one here and we're gonna download that as well. Once the server is back up and running I'm gonna head over to the console real quick and then I'm gonna type up and my name so I'm just gonna up myself so I can actually do commands. All right so now I'm on the server what are you doing? So in order to create a new world, you do like MV create and the world name and blah, blah, blah. Um, I've already made a video on multiverse. So I highly recommend that you go check that one out. If you don't already know how to use multiverse, um, it will be in the eye in the corner. But now I'm going to make a void world. So to make a void world, of course, as when we're creating any other world, we give it a name here. Let's just call it. I'm just call it void. And the next thing here, we're going to specify if the environment and the sky and all that is going to be from the normal world or the nether or the end. I'm just going to choose normal. And then you want to type a, a dash and then G, which means generator. And we're going to type void gen. And then we're going to end it with a dash T and flat. And that's it. Hit enter and start in creation of world void. So let's go visit it. Um, let me go in creative first because we might spawn in the middle of nowhere. And uh, do slash MVTP and the world name. And that's it. We're here. We've created a void world. There's absolutely nothing in this world except this bedrock block that I'm standing on. All right. So I real quick want to show you something that you shouldn't do. Um, so as you can see here in my void world, no matter how far I fly, it will always be a void world. And if you then go ahead and uninstall your void generator plugin, because you're thinking, oh, I already made a world with this. I don't want this to fill up my plugin space. So I'm just going to delete it. And then once the server is back online, you actually go to your void world. You can see that if I then fly out in the distance generating new chunks, it will actually start generating world, flat world, because the plugin is no longer there and it doesn't know that new chunks should be void as well. So you definitely don't want to uninstall your plugin once you've made your server because new chunks will not be void if you do that. All right, so let me just give this random guy who joined my server up. He um, he's already made a, a lot of uh, a lot of nice stuff. What are you doing in my house? Oh, thanks. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. As I said before, if you want more info on multiverse, what are you, what is he doing? If you want more info on multiverse, make sure to watch my other video on that by clicking the eye in the corner. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.